Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Today we are going to be taking a deep dive, a deep, deep dive into the mass transit of our city here in New Zealand. We're going to be discussing the benefits of transport hubs and all sorts of things, all sorts of things. We're going to try and improve that in the city because as you've been seeing over the past few episodes, things are expanding nicely and they're starting to get pretty congested in a few areas, uh, which is only going to get worse if we don't do something about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tool called CSL Map View. You can find that on the Steam Workshop. It will tell you how to use it there. And that enables you to open up cool looking maps of your city like this. Aha, there we go. This is a view I really like to see of my city. And as you can see, this picture is labeled bus hubs because we have already three bus or transport hubs, we could perhaps call them in our city. And there's two others that I think we need to add at least before we expand even further. So some of these you're already going to know. Number one over here, if we just zoom in. This is, a, if you can just about read that, hashtag save the rock. We've got this hub that's here. We'll come back to that one in a moment. We've also got this one over here, not far from Teasney World, Orlando Heights. You know where this one is. We've got a bus hub there. And then down here on no problem at all, we'll just zoom in. We have one over here. Now, I would like to also add at least two more. So over here, we have our stadium. We have our university. We have Sugar Cube Square. Lots going on here with the train and all sorts of things. I think that would be a good idea. And then also over here, of course, we have Tarantula Terminal with all the metro going out. In the future, that is going to really be needed. Now, why do we need all of these in these areas? So let's just flick over to the next picture. Aha, here we go. So this is why I would call these ones transport hubs uh, rather than just bus hubs. So up here, back at number one at hashtag save the rock. This is where we have a tram that comes down our front over here, plus the ferry, of course, in the sea and a train all meet in one area. Yes, so that would be a very good transport hub that enables people to get around. Number two over here that we spoke about by Teasley World, Orlando. We've got the monorail, ferry, train and intercity bus uh, all converge in the same spot. Over here at no problem at all, we have a ferry. These are the ferry lines, of course, on the blue here and the train. This big, thick blue line through here is the train. So why do we need ones over here? Well, at number four, as you mentioned, we have our big end train terminal that hooks into this line that goes through our city. Uh, we've also got two metro. I put metro times two because we've got the line that goes up to Tivantula Terminal. And then we've got the line that goes down here to Hawky Borky uh, down on the coast. So that is like a hub as well. And then when we get up here, we've got the metro terminal and I'm sure other things will be added in the future. So why don't we take a look at these and see what changes we need to make. So let's go back to our city. OK, so here we are back in the city over here. Hashtag save the rock. So we've got our ferries, we've got our buses, we've got our tram. I think I said trains as well. There is no train here. Uh, that was my mistake. Over here, number two at the No Name Hub. Uh, we need the name for that one <laughs> by Teasley World. So we've got the monorail that runs through. Uh, this is an intercity bus station. So that is like an extra type of bus that's coming in as well as the buses we're going to set up. Of course, the ferry as well. Oh, here's a train here. Look, there's a did I mention that? I think I did. So there's the train line. So all of this together, it's a pretty, pretty busy hub. Uh, no problem at all. Over here, we have the train that comes through. And of course... This has got buses built in and a ferry. And then back over here at number four. So this is the one I think we need to work on first. So we've got our glass box transport hub uh, with all the trains coming in and out. Intercity trains as well. And then if we go to this view, there we go. So we've got the underground metro, which goes through Elizabeth Square, Sunset Park, and all the way up to Tarantula Terminal. And then we've got the above ground metro as well. So all of that converges on this one spot. Now, with these different types of transportation all in one area, so we're calling Crest Heights here a transport hub with all of those meeting. 
what you need is ways for people to get to and from this now we've been discovering this issue particularly in this area because as we look at the traffic it's not too bad at the moment uh, every now and again it sort of gets a lot worse a lot of people come out uh, and jump in their cars and cause traffic but you need ways for people to get into these transport hubs to then take a higher grade of transport so if we look over here you could say perhaps that bus is like the first line of transport uh, or mass transit public transportation that they will come in contact with i'd probably put trolley buses and trams sort of in those lines or those buses are easier to get around and then you move up so then you get a bus to a transport hub and then you jump on a metro to go further or a train to go even further or perhaps a ferry now you're crossing over uh, waterways to get to difficult parts of the city but our buses are set up really really bad they really are so i want to see if we can work a little bus hub in here somehow and set up some bus routes to go to other parts of this city because uh, other parts of this area we're going to concentrate on first of all um so yeah there's not much space in here so taking a look at that this way round, not a lot of space and i'm wondering where we could put a bus hub in i mean we've got this park here which has taken up a lot of room and i'm wondering whether we could shiftify like this because this is like a built-in piece of park isn't it yeah and then i put all this in move that over take up a lot less space and then maybe use this half uh what sort of bus hubs have we got in here so we've got a normal little bus station that is quite big although that could fit in there if we move the park all the way up then we've got the intercity bus station i'm not sure i want to start getting intercity buses down here and this is intercity bus terminal what other options have we got over here yeah now we're starting to mix and match so maybe we go with a bus station here and we just see if we can move this around oh quick auto save sip of tea oh. right let's get stuck in There we go i think that'll do nicely give us some extra room so let's see if we can fit this bus station in we can fantastic so i'm gonna have that facing into this road here rather than the main road excellent so now that's going to give us a little bit more space what i'm going to do is and i'm going to move let's just have a look at where our stops go at the moment so this oh good grief this one goes all over the place doesn't it let us see so this is bus line number eight and that comes all the way down into fairview heights and all over yeah we're gonna pause the game pause the game we're gonna delete that one and then i think that is all the bus lines we have over here yeah because that's a train going through there isn't it okay so let's set up a few new bus lines coming out of here okay i've turned off all other mass transport lines so it's easy to see what we've got going on here so let's start our first one over here um, i may change this to one way road in and out uh, we'll see what happens so that's nice and close they can easily walk from there over to here we'll definitely put a stop in so i'm thinking the first area i want to cover is over here at sugar cube square now though i know there is a metro but many are still going to want to take the bus that's just <laughs> that's just how these things work so uh, what's a good way to get in here can i come in down this way instead yeah that'd be good and move that along here and we're going to just sort of go every few blocks like this we'll go over here we've got the hospital that's over here as well so if we come around that way these will really happy it will help them to upgrade as well uh let's go i want to cover up the top here so if we so we've covered that bit i want to sort of get a couple of stops in here 
there and then can we go up and over this bridge yeah excellent so i mean one stop in there that's quite a big area of effect for all of that or i tell you what actually no i'm going to change that we're going to have that stop up there and then that's just literally going to come straight back to here yeah we're going to do that and then i'm going to mirror it going the other way as well yeah so let me do that there we go that's the one going the other direction and as it's coming through this little section here i've added a stop there so we'll do the same for the red line too there we go and for some reason that then makes it go around there <laughs> who knows why so we're going to call that sugar cube square um so that's 15 and 16 so let's make that a slightly different shade of red so sugar cube square and we just have one of those as clockwise let's copy that oh darn it good job i copied it there we go and this one will be counterclockwise excellent okay for our next couple i'd like to come up here into elizabeth square maybe even crest district in fact i'm going to have crest and dean square as its own stop so let's go up to elizabeth square next so we'll grab the next one here that's probably going to come up this main road uh what is worth keeping in mind as well is our tourist attractions that we've got in here so people are going to want to come and see that uh, and we've also got this little statue in here as well people are going to want to visit that so is this the way in yeah because we've got one way in and one way out in this area here so i'm going to come straight oh where's that going that is taking a back route and actually that is not too bad if we can get it to do that yeah let's do that so we're going to have a stop let's have this one here because we've got offices lots of residential and then that can come down here and up there i think that should be enough and let's have a look let's have a look and then back down here oh i'd love it to stop right in here yes we can do that that's great i know that's going to cross over itself when it comes back out again but that'll be fine and then we can stop that somewhere here in the university that comes up in the middle here i know they can walk to the university perhaps but i think that'll be okay yeah and then we'll pop that in there excellent do i need one going the other way around i think i do so let me do that one as well so as we take in elizabeth square and elizabeth city park i'm going to call those the elizabeth line could we actually stop up here as well yeah i think that might be a good idea so let's take that one. Oh, that's going to make it go all over the show isn't it let's just put a stop right outside oh that's fine that's okay and then this line on the other way back as well we'll do that yeah excellent that would be good. So we take in that stop there, that area there. So this is number 17 and 18. Yep. So we're going to call these the Elizabeth line. Uh, and we'll just call these. I don't know which one's clockwise or which one's counterclockwise, but we'll just uh, do that. And that one to be counterclockwise. And then we'll just change the color on these. So we had sort of a ready color before. Let's go for a purpley color this time yeah there we go excellent so that takes in this area that takes in this area now we do have we did have a bus stop coming out of dean square but i'm going to treat this as our main hub so this one here is going to go from here bypass all of this and come right up into crest district um, and let's have a couple of stops on the way in. So which way round is this going to go? It seems like it's coming up around the back route. Which is not too bad. Although I'd rather it came up the main road if possible. Yeah, there we go. So if we can do that. Excellent. There we go. That's fine. And we'll bring this round a couple of stops. Let's actually bring that right in here to where we've got that monument. And then there. And then it's going to cross over itself. And then I think with this one, we're just going to mirror itself on the way back. So that's back in here on the other side. Back in there on the other side. Back in there on the other side. And then all the way back down to... Here it is. Found it. Excellent. That's good. So that one can be called... Uh, we'll call that the Crestine line. So let's find that one on here. That's going to be this one. Yeah, we'll change the color on that to a nice light blue. And that's the Crestine line. Excellent. So was that a capital I in there? Didn't want that to be a capital I. Cool. There we go. So now we have bus route going around here, bus route going around here, and a bus route taken in this bit. It's already taken in the park on there as well. 
Now I'm thinking about coming down to these areas. So there is this metro here that they can get onto. Do we need maybe another bus going around here? I think, do you know what? I think that would be a good idea. We've got the hub. Let's use it. So let's just bring that down here and go through this different area we've got here. Where's the road going? So it comes off the side there. Oh, is that like only one connection in there? So if I just do, say, that, then it's going to come straight back out again, isn't it? Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm not going to stop on the main road, actually. I'm going to bring it up here and stop by this park. Then we're going to come round the back. And there's another little park there. So let's stop here. Every couple of blocks is normally okay. We'll go there. And then we're going to go back and stop the opposite side of that one. I feel like I need to go in here and do the opposite side of these as well. There's only one stop in there anyway. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll pop that back to over there. So that's going to be called Fairview. So that's number 20. Yep, Fairview line. Only one of those. If I could spell, that'd be nice. And then we'll just change that to something totally different. We'll go for a yellow colour. Excellent. And then the other area is bringing them down here would be very helpful. Does that need to stop emptying? It does. Now, we do have a bus line through here, this blue one that just seems to go on forever. It just goes all the way up around here. It comes over to a hub somewhere else. I don't know. We've actually called it the hub to industry uh, line. Let's just find that one. I mean, there's only 82 people using it. It's just a useless line. That one is going to go. So what I'm thinking is rather than running one from our new transport hub up here, I'm going to run it from this metro so they can jump on the metro, come around here, get off, and then they want access to this area. So let's just have a look down here. What have we got? I'm thinking some sort of tiny little bus hub in here somewhere. Is there something small we could fit in? I mean, that's just too big what we want to do that's too big maybe we could just use a bus road yeah i think what i'm going to do is just put a little bus road up through there and then i'm going to use traffic manager and just ban anything but buses oh, actually it's got already oh that's good look it's automatically banned cars on the outside of these oh, very clever i've never seen it do that before um but we're going to ban everything we're going to ban the whole lot apart from buses there we go on all the sides do 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 all the way up that road just yeah, that's fine. So bus is okay there. Let's just check that one. Bus is okay there. So ideally, I want to keep these off the main road. Uh, let's start that side, like off this main road up here, if we can. Um, so I'm thinking we'll just sort of come maybe along the front like this in a couple of places. Let's go there. Then we can sort of cut through into the middle here. Then it is going to come down the main road because we're then going to go up to here. Let's go there. Let's go a bit further. Let's go there. And then when we come round, we could stop up there. So we're taking in sort of all the different factories that we've got. And then this is going to come over to this area. Let's take in that end and then basically come back round this way again. Back down there and back to here. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then I'm going to do one going the opposite way round as well. Okay, so this is going to be Hawky Borky clockwise and Hawky Borky counterclockwise. There we go. And for these, we're going to go for sort of shade of green. So that's from this metro line. That's covered all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, in fact is all covered over here which is great so let us see where all these buses are going to be coming from we do have if i remember correctly let's go into this view yeah look we've got a bus depot down there i'm just wondering if we could add a nearer bus depot hmm possibly not we've got a biofield bus depot that's not going to fit in is it no okay well we'll see where they all come from whether this is the nearest one I think it might be. There seem to be buses going out. Yeah, look, here they go. Let's keep an eye on the... Oh, this is going to cause untold amounts of traffic, I'm sure. That is probably like one of the worst places to have a bus hub. But normally you don't get 30,000 buses all coming out at once. But I think we're going to have to just let this run for a bit. And <laughs> I hope these guys can come out here and populate our bus lines for us. Um... One other thing that I will do once they've been running for a while is look at how many vehicles are on them. But I think, to be honest, they're probably going to be okay. 
yeah so we'll leave that like that i'm also once we've done the buses for everywhere and checked all the transport hubs oh excellent elizabeth city park level five thank you very much i will go back and i will see how many people were using um our transport per week i'll get a screenshot of that and we'll compare it to our new setup and leave that running so yeah this is going to take a few minutes i think how many buses 160 it was like 97 or something wow okay yeah we'll leave that going oh man this thing is humming away nicely we're getting tons of people coming down here wanting to use this which is great what helps as well it's off of the main road and it's got a nice load of space that if we end up with a few buses down here there's space for them to queue but they're un unbunching pretty well so far um it's also stopped all the people queuing over here and jumping out with their cars when they get off that bus stop and all the stuff that was happening before and it's working really really well i'm really pleased with this one and let's just rename that one that is going to be the sparty bus station excellent right so let's move over here to no problem at all and as we mentioned we have the train that comes in here we have the ferry that comes in here oh okay thank you very much um and we have is this an intercity oh just a ferry and bus exchange stop yeah so we've got all the buses here as well so we need to do a little something with this and um, if we just have a look at the buses that we've got on here at the moment they're pretty rubbish i'll be honest with you look this blue one just goes all over the show all over the show all the way down here we've got a yellow one that's probably the best one just takes in one area but i just they just need some work so we're gonna get rid of these so we've got no problem at all b uh yeah that one's gonna go thank you very much no problem at all a oh and the people are so sad that one's gonna go and we've also got let's zoom out i think it's one of these up here 13 yeah that one's gonna go and 12 yeah that one's gonna go as well and i think that's all of our bus lines here yes it is so let us have a bus route let's grab our buses so we're gonna start over here on this side why not that'll do we're definitely gonna stop outside that and then I think then we're going to just have it come along. Oh, that's a path, not a road, isn't it? So that's going to go up there. And then we're going to meander through this area. How far are we going to take this? Should we have this route do all of this and back again? I think that might be a good idea. So we've got one stop, two stops. Then we'll come up. I want to get down over here near to the park. So we'll go. Yeah, we'll have one there. We'll have one down here. Uh, we know there's a park entrance down there and then i think we could just literally come straight back with that one and then we'll have one going the other way okay so these ones are going to be called npa highland uh clockwise let's just copy that and then we're going to have npa no problem at all of course uh counterclockwise excellent and then we'll just give them a color let's just go straight white let's go white on both of those why not so let's do our next bus line so we've done it's hard to see isn't it this one this one so that one that one i want to do this one yeah there we go so now we can come where's that going to come out it comes out all the way down here doesn't it which is a bit annoying but i think that'll be okay so we're going to stop outside the train station we're going to stop outside this and then we're going to loop around myrtle square if we loop the other way no let's go that way so if we go one there then we'll come one over there and yeah we'll just mirror this one itself i think that would just be easier opposite the train station yeah i think that one will be okay so what's that one going to be bom, 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 bom. that's going to be right down the end nope it's going to be right at the top here it is number 25 so that can be npa myrtle at some point could probably do with coming back and looking at our parks in these areas but we do have a couple of parks in here which people would like to visit we have this one down the front here and we have our schools over here as well so that is definitely somewhere i want to hit with the next one so let's go that one's there so we'll go here and again that's going to sort of wiggle all the way along here and i'm wondering whether we should just go straight for the school mm, let's maybe do this a bit different no we're going to have this one here because this is right by the park 
and then we're going to get the school on the way back yeah i think that'll work and then we'll just go through here every sort of couple of blocks so we'll go there let's go there then we can get the school actually no then we can go into here yeah then we can get the school then we can go all the way back again i think that'll be okay and that one's going to be chester hill so let's jump into here is that 26 yeah so that is no problem at all chester that will do wouldn't it yeah that's fine and then we'll just recolor that one to some sort of purpley color and that's covered everything on here i think in a much better way and I'm pretty sure there's no bus depot on here. Nothing is showing up. So we really need to find a spot for that. And I wonder whether this little square here would be good. I think that might be a good idea. I'm hoping the fact that I've put these lines in. Uh, Prop and Trianarchy, let's turn that off. It keeps going back on again because I'm doing names, aren't I, with a capital P. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Let's just grab some trees. I'm hoping the fact that I've done those lines already isn't going to automatically have signed assigns all of the buses to the other bus hub that we've got but we'll have to sort of see what happens yeah once again it's going to cause some sort of traffic pile up as it sorts itself all out but i think it'll be fine after a few minutes how we're we looking over here lots of people already queuing up coming from our ferries and getting ready to take our new bus lines fantastic so let's have a look over here by orlando heights and as far as i can see we only have one bus route round here which goes all over the place um down to orlando heights around in this area we're definitely going to redraw this one <laughs> it just goes everywhere oh dear oh dear oh dear and um, also for no name hub i do you know what? i knew it had a name and I've just found out what the name is. Because if you have a look at the name of this uh, bus line, it's Hibiscus to Orlando. So if I can copy that, and our no-name hub is Hibiscus Hub. There we go. Excellent. So I don't know quite what happened to that, but it's back. Um, so let's just have a look at what's going on. So all of this is served by... Oh, we've got another line there as well. Which one's that? That is a very dark green one. Teasney World Shuttle. Ah, okay. I thought we didn't need a bus line there because we've got the monorail, hasn't, haven't we, that comes down here. And where does that go? That goes all the way up to this area anyway. Yeah, so we don't need that one. So let's just use our common sense. I probably had a thousand comments about that when I put that one in. Um, but that one is going to go. The Teasney World Shuttle. Let's just copy that, actually, and have a look at our monorail. There it is. Teasley World Shuttle. Yeah, we've got two things doing the same thing. Okay, there's only 43 people on that. Well, they're not going to be on it anymore. Excellent. That's gone. Right, so, uh, yeah, let's delete the Orlando. Hibiscus to Orlando. And what I'm going to do is actually copy that name. There we go. And we're going to delete that. Everyone's really sad. And then we're going to add some more in here. So we're going to need, I think... I mean, we do have this monorail that comes through the middle here. But I think we could just do with a bus route that picks people up. Oh, ah, let's have a quick look at our parks. What uh, parks do we have? So we've got this here, this here, and of course Alien Rock Park. Okay, that's just worth keeping in mind. Right, let's just do that again. Let's drag that stop to there. Can we continue it? Yeah, excellent. So then that's going to come around the back here. Then can it cut through to this bit here? It can. We'll have one in the middle there. And then definitely to Alien Rock Park. Oh, we can stop that right outside. That is brilliant. And then what I want is it to go back on the way. I'm going to put them off the main road. I'm going to keep all my buses off the main road as much as possible. So that can come out... That can continue along the back there. Oh, this is fantastic. So that covers all of this area, but still allows people to walk to the monorail if they want. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to just mirror that one. Okay, so that is these two lines. So that's... I knew that wasn't spelt right. Aspen Park. Clockwise. Copy that. I'm trying to type, and I can't see my keyboard properly. <laughs> this will be counterclockwise. Okay, we'll do that again clockwise there we go excellent we'll give those oh do you know what these are going to be black like the night there we go excellent and i'm also then going to just have 
a little stop that comes out of here and comes up to this. So this is our broadcasting center. And I think a lot of people are going to want to visit this. So I'm just going to pop one little line backwards and forwards to there. So that covers this side. And then it's just the Orlando Heights, Teasden World we've got covered. So we just need a route going around there. So again, just taking a look at what we've got over here that we need to hit. So park-wise, really not many parks. We've got our ore industry, which people are going to want to work at. And then we've got all the people that live here that are going to want to come over here. That needs to stop emptying. There we go. Uh, I'm also going to check for bus hubs. Uh, bus uh, stations, I should say. Depots. There are none over here. Could we squeeze one in? in our industry area somewhere oh that is good that just works out perfectly that's not busy at all straight onto this main road and then off around the city excellent 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 okay so let's set up the next two here we go so that one's there so we're going to go here so let's have a look let's have a look so where's that going to come in that's going to come if in round this way on that side of the road but i want it to come through the middle of the housing estate so we've got one that side one that side and that's going to come around to here mm, we're just going to have that or we're going to also take in the industry i think it'd be silly not to take in the industry area so we're just going to run yeah in this case i am going to run down the main road because i don't want to get in the way of all the trucks that are moving around and i know we've got lots of path access through here so if we do that, uh, we'll have a stop in there. And that'll probably be it, to be honest. And then I can mirror that one as well. There we go. That's good. So we're covering all of the residential area. And then I've got easy access through here if they wish. So that's good. So that is going to be called. Cool. Let's copy that. Grab our two stops. I mean, really interesting to see what difference this makes overall. There we go. That will do nicely. So that is all of this covered all of this covered and all of this covered uh we were gonna check oh we do have a bus we put one in didn't we over here let's just keep an eye on all the buses coming flying out of this thing yeah there they go excellent 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 don't know whether you can hear it in the background as well lots of bing 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 of people upgrading their houses because there are now bus routes right by their houses. Let's just have a look and see if we can see them. See all the little green arrows? They are so happy that they now have some regular bus routes around here. Are they upgrading over here as well? If not, why not? Yep, they are. We can hear them. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, I like the look of these black buses. They almost look like stretch limos, don't they? I feel very posh getting in one of those. Look at that. Yeah, we've got, we got some traffic. We've got some traffic. I'm sure the bus traffic will sort itself out. Not bothered. Not worried. Slightly worried. Not worried at all. So now we come to this area of the city. Now, previously, the hashtag Save the Rock Hub uh, over here has got all the bus routes coming out. Of. You remember, this is the first little hub that we made ourselves. Bit of parking. Lots of different stops in there. Some places to sit and eat and wait for your bus. Uh, that is sending out buses everywhere. Um, if we just hover over some of the lines here, that yellow one, oh, it's stretchy. It's got, well, you can probably see, look, the green one comes all the way up around here. This one comes all the way here. This purple one goes all the way down. It's just too many. And I think what we need to do is split these into two. We need bus stops from here, bus lines, I should say, serving this area because this brings together the ferry and the tram. And then we need something different over here, because how would you get to this area? Well, you know, you'd walk over the hills, perhaps. Uh, you'd cycle, but you'd come in your car or by train. And we've got this little area up here where we do actually have a elevated bypass train station coming in. So if you came in by train, then you would want to hop on a bus to go to the university or to come around here and visit the lovely little extra parks and things that we've got. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let me just find out which lines we've got in here and delete those. Yeah, I'm just looking at this one line here, the east-west line, all the way down to Green Tea Square, all the way past the hub, all the way around the coast, all the way up the waterfront. It just takes in too, too much. It's absolutely massive. 
that one is going to go as well. And I think, if we just pause the game, that is all the bus lines here. Yeah, this purple one here is like a tram line. So I don't want to go any further than Green Tea Park over here. Yeah, it's our tram depot. Um, let's just remind ourselves what sort of parky things we've got along here. So this is the industry area. So we've got the shopping, we've got the park, got the cinema, got the hypermarket, I think that is. Yeah, up over here. So we obviously want to hit those. So let's just do this then. Let's grab that. We're going to put this stop here. Mm, let's see. I think we're going to have that stop there. It's going to come up to this train and take in the hypermarket and all of this we've got going on here. So we've got like all the tennis courts. We'll do that. Um, we'll stop over here. And we'll stop by the cinema. And I think, to be honest... That is going to be it for that one. That is going to be a short one. And I'm wondering even whether to add a stop. Shame we can't put these inside here. Yeah, let's just add a stop there. And we're going to take that one away. So it's only got too many. Yeah, that'll be good. And I don't really think we need one going the other way. It's such a short line. It's just a shame that it comes all the way through here. Um, do you know what? I am going to add some stops into this side over here. Shall I? I feel like I'd be rude not to. Yeah, do you know what? I am. We're going to change this. As this is coming up, that's going to come around here and stop in this little shopping area. One that side. One that side. No. Let's do that. That side. There we go. And on this main road, we'll do that as well. Come on. Just because you know it's going to help people upgrade. And then as it comes through here, I'm going to do one there. Come on. So this is when it goes up and when it comes down. So it's sort of mirroring itself. There we go. All of those are happy. Oh, and we've got this here as well, haven't we? Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. So that's going to go this way. Yeah. And that one's going to go that way. Through there. Yeah, excellent. Takes in our <laughs> cable car is the word I'm desperately hunting for over the top there as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think here, one more from here, going through these two little estates that we've got. Uh, so Green Tea Square. Again, we're going to go sort of every few blocks. Yeah, that'll be good. Then we'll sort of bring... Oh, okay. It's going to loop all the way around. Actually, there's these stops here. We'll have that overlap with that one. And then on the way back, we can literally mirror what we've done. Yeah, I'm going to move those stops around so they're not overlapping like that. That'll be good. Mirror that, mirror that. And we'll mirror these all the way back. Yeah, excellent. So that can be called Green Tea Square. Yeah, Green Tea. That's the Green Tea line. That was easy, wasn't it? Bus line 33. Excellent. So that also gives us access. We've got... So that's a fishing boat. Oh, yeah, we've got these ferry stops along here. There we go. That's fine. I've taken in the ferry stops as well. Hooked it up with those. And that will come all the way back to here. Green Tea Square. We did name that one, didn't we? Yeah, the Green Tea Line. Excellent. Excellent. So that is all of that side taken in. And then all we need to do is add a couple of stops over here. So let's just remind ourselves what we've got leisure-wise. So obviously we've got the university to get to. Uh, we've got Tranquility Point Park uh, in the middle there. And we've got Chai Key, Uppity Glamping. Then we've got this industry area over here. So definitely a couple of stops, I would say. Um, how are we going to put these in here? How about something like that? I was going to add a couple of small little roads on there. I don't think there's going to be too many buses on these. But we'll see how this goes anyway. So I think this one here, we're going to have it just loop around the outside like this. Every few blocks or so. It's going to come in here, take in... There we go. The university. Whoop, press the wrong button. And then that is going to loop back around the outside again. Like that. And then back up around like that. Yeah. And then I'm thinking we need another one just to sort of loop around here, but also get near to our cable car line. Yeah, we could stop outside there, couldn't we? And then one for our industry. That is what I'm thinking. And if we can sort of... Let's see, let's see. So that's going to come off the highway. And this seems to be one way around here. Well, that's handy. So if we come down here and stop near to all of these points where people are going to want to get out and do shopping. If I remember correctly, this is like a, a leisure sort of thing going on here. So we'll go along there. And then we're going to stop over here. 
And then we can't do the same ones on the way back because it's one way. What we can do is go up here instead. Excellent. Come out of there. And then, yeah, we're not going to take in the industry. We're going to come all the way back. Complete that line. Very good. And that is going to be called Chai, the Chai line. Uh, the only thing that worries me here is that's a long line. Yeah, we're going to do another one going the other way. Yes, and of course, we couldn't properly mirror that one, could we? Uh, the next one's 36 because of those one-way roads. Uh, let's copy that. 36. There we go. So that's counterclockwise. And we'll try and get that a similar purpley colour to that one. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. So what I did with that one is just run it down the main road. Just a quicker way of getting over there and back again. And then finally, we want an industry one, uh, which I want on the other side here, but it's going to be difficult to do it. So I'm going to do it from there. And then we'll move the stop afterwards. And that's just going to come into our industry area and give a couple of stops uh, in a couple of places around here. Um, there, should we come in and out of there and then back round again? And I think that will be okay for that one. We'll complete that line and then I'll drag the stop over here. Excellent. So that is the whole of our area covered. Uh, where's the nearest bus hub to all of this? It's going to be this one over here, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, we need to fit in another bus hub and in our industry area, I keep saying bus hub mean bus depot in our industry area to me would seem like the best spot and up against a little side road like that would seem perfect very good let's just do a little bit of terraforming here here they come excellent okay there they go so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back to some of my earlier footage i'm going to get the information that we want from this screen here how many people use our transport i can see it's gone up already which is absolutely brilliant and i'm going to get that and we're going to put it on the screen after i've let this city run for about i don't know half an hour an hour something like that uh, once all the backup of the buses is sorted out and all that sort of thing and uh, yeah i'll be back with you so just before we do that final comparison i'm looking at my train lines i've only got three so i might add some more but look this one here that's got so many people waiting at it it's absolutely nuts trying to get all around the city so yeah i definitely need to add a whole load more trains i've also discovered that my main uh, island to east island doesn't come into this area here which is a bit bad we want to make sure that that can come in uh, when it goes in both directions cannot find path okay what about this one cannot find path why the heck can you not find the path okay i'll fix that and make sure it stops over here as well which would explain why that's only got 61 passengers where these other lines absolutely ran. okay so before we look at the final figures a couple of little things that i've managed to fix uh, while i've been doing this um over here this is always super busy and this roundabout backs up a heck of a lot so i've added a little bypass onto there which has worked really well i haven't bothered with the lane mathematics here just left it added that in it's working fine uh, also added a little bypass on this round about which started to get busy this uh media broadcast building has a lot of people coming up here i did have a bus go into there but it didn't do anything so i took it away but anyway so i've added that on which is great um do you know what would probably help now that i've just suddenly thought of it is making this connection connect to here like that i could just move that back out a bit I'll set that at the right height so now they can walk across there which they couldn't do before ah maybe that'll help so yeah sorted that and i also moving over to whoa over to here sorted out the train problem with the trains getting stuck constantly in the middle i just use the move it mod uh, and reset this so I went into here and reset the objects. And now they don't get stuck in the middle anymore and it works. Um, I've also put in the advanced stop selector or something like that. So I could use some of these other stops in here. Because whatever I did without it, I couldn't use them. I've turned off all the other stations apart from this one. This is the one that allows intercity trains. None of the others do. And I changed my lines coming out of here. I had a couple of train lines. I've set a new one up going from there to over here to Dean Square. And also the one I had going from this island to this island was almost a repeat of another one that I had going around. So I've changed that as well. So 
everything's working much much better traffic is 79 80 percent trains are not backing up anymore let's check out the final figures on our mass transit okay so the figures you can see on the left there are the live figures now there's my mouse moving around on it and the figures we're going to overlay on the right hand side of the screen i took a screenshot of before i made any changes now you'll notice some interesting differences uh buses are up so 1,704, 260 a week, up from 1,284, 131 a week. I've done a lot of tweaking of the buses. I've, I've been sitting here going through the lines, checking how many passengers. Do we need more buses? Do we need less buses? And I've, in fact, done that with all of my uh, lines. But I've gone through to make sure that nobody's waiting too long, that we don't have too many vehicles. That's why some of these have only got uh, like three or four down here. So that's how that is looking. Um, trolley buses wouldn't have any anyway. What's this one here? I can never remember. Is that trams? Yeah, tram lines have only got our one that runs along the front. No one ever uses it. It's a complete waste of money. <laughs> um, On to our metro line. I've adjusted that as well because you've got some lines in where nobody uses any. This is actually a proper line. But the ones that were going to Tarantula Park, Tarantula Terminal, I've removed those. And I've adjusted all the lines on there. But the figures on our metro um, have actually gone down. Well, it was 527, now 328. But, yeah, it's just the way it's gone with that. Train has gone down a little bit. But I've only just adjusted those. Ferries, boats about the same. We've got no planes. Monorail, give or take more or less the same and this one here i can never remember the name of that goes over the top of the oh that's the monorail this is what's this one here oh i know what that is i'm a completely brain dead person it's the cable car isn't it of course so that's just set what it is taxis we had hardly any anyway so overall it is up 3930 and it is climbing it's 3890 before um it is going up ever so slightly but a lot less traffic and a lot more options to get around different places so even though it hasn't been a humongously massive change it's helped me to fix a load of different issues that we had uh, on here and i'm thinking maybe we need to separate some of the connections there and bring down a few more but i can work on that but yeah it's helped me to fix a load of different problems we've had so i'm really pleased with that deep dive into my mass transit network so what do you think to all the changes that we've made let me know in the comments below would you have done anything differently yes i'm pretty sure you would have done <laughs> let me know as well be sure to subscribe before you go maybe check out the other video on the screen too have a fantastic day thank you very much for all of your support and i will see you next time bye bye